There's a guy named Augustus Woods. He contacted me uh, a while back, and he is here in Taichung. I'm going to meet him for a bit of coffee. As we're trying to establish some meetings and confirm the meeting with HP tomorrow. I really want to meet with them. If all else fails, I'll just go there. They have like a cycling museum that is attached to their factory, which might just be interesting in itself to go to. Huh. I think this must be like a camera marketplace or an electronics market. It's closed right now, but I keep seeing like Sony signs and signs for camera stuff. This might be an interesting place to check out. I see GoPro signs over here. What I'd like to do today is go to a bike shop, see if I can get my flag uh, pole. Uh, I have Pat at T-Cycle over in Oregon that's ready to send me some stuff, but before he does, I want to make sure that I can not find it here. And I think I might be able to just find it here. In which case, he doesn't have to send it all the way over here. Let's see if we can figure some stuff out. I have a cold. Last night, my nose kept filling up. Uh, I don't think it's anything too bad, just a nuisance. Looks like a great breakfast. Get what to go. Eat by the. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, eat by the. I'm a little bit early. Oh, I was gonna say I'm a little bit early, but you're a little bit early too. This thing looks, looks like an American breakfast right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got sausage and egg and. I got this. I'm not sure what they call it. Cool, man. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> nice. No problem. Oh, I got this breakfast. It's fantastic. It's pretty good. Yeah. The sausage is heavy. I was expecting this to be like Chinese style sausage. You know the Chinese sausage? Yeah, yeah. It's like really, really weird flavor. <laughs> So I'm thinking about, uh, because you guys are such a pain in the ass, <laughs> I think I'm gonna start flipping the camera around and then I will be doing my uh, monologues pointed out on the next video when I'm riding. And then you guys can tell me if you like that any better. <laughs> because you guys bitch too much. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting little market. Let's walk around here. I was thinking about renting one of these, but I don't have my international mm -hmm. driver's license. Do you have your international license? No. No, you can uh, you can rent an e-bike. The weather here is like uh, super sunny. It hardly ever. I mean, it rain. It's been it rained a few times uh, this week, but yeah, rained on me. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cat. Look at that cat. Got that pouch. Whoa. <laughs> is that what it says? <laughs> <laughs> I think Public Enemy came here. <laughs> but in the Public Enemy, weren't they the ones that were like, <laughs> Holy sh <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy looking bike shop. Is yeah. the bike shop upstairs? No. no. Downstairs. Okay, okay. I'm yeah, like, uh, training, training class. Oh, training class. Yeah. Are you all training? No. Uh, <laughs> I interrupt your class. I'm very sorry. <laughs> he, he knows a place where I can get a new flagpole, so it's good stuff. Okay, sorry. It's like a secret underground cycling store. Oh, training. Oh. Yes, training class. Yes, I teach. Oh, yeah. wow, that's awesome. The data is a uh, small camera. Wow, wow, and so it shows you the yeah right the correct position. Yeah. So they have a camera there, then they have a camera there. Four. Yeah. Four. Yeah, four. And then yeah. here, that's three, and that's one. Very cool. Hello. <laughs> And then over here, you can ride. 
and you can look at the video. A lot of information. Yeah, uh, yeah load watts, RPM, heart rate. Uh, I wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, he buys shoe. 110. You getting tired? A little bit. <laughs> this gear is like really low. <laughs> this is not a, a higher gear. When they're here, how long do you go? Hey, one hour. One hour. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, many, many people. Yeah, but you have one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Yeah, we have space. Yeah. Then you ride outside? Yeah. If ready, or uh, sun is too late, yeah, yeah. we we'll come here and you ride. Uh, typhoon? Yeah. Typhoon, you come here? Yeah, right here. Interesting. That was very cool. Thank you very much. What, what, you want the music? Kyle. Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Chayo. I was a little nervous. He was either going to take us down there to murder us or show us something cool. Luckily, it was something cool. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Kyle. Bye. Thanks, brother. That was very cool. Very niche little thing. Yeah. Very niche. Extremely niche. They'll ride outside most of the time, but if there's a typhoon or there's rain or it's too hot, yeah. they can go down there and he can tell you exactly where you're having trouble. Yeah. You have to keep up here. You have to slow down here. It's more... Uh, individualized than a, than a gym. All right, the bike guy said we might be able to find a pole here at Decathlon. Well, shot down yet again. Decathlon does not have my fiberglass pole or flag. But I'm thinking maybe I can go to uh, one of the trike manufacturers. If I go to one of those stores, I bet that they're gonna have a, a pole that they put on their trikes. Boom, 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 solved. But Augusta, he has, an, uh, he has a different idea. What do you think I should do? I think you should just be like one of those uh, homeless people who just pick up, you know, different things on the street and just attach it to your bike and you can have this like... <laughs> just trinkets and all sorts of crazy you know, stuff. Uh, <laughs> what is called? Sequins? Yeah, glittery. Yeah, glitter. Just glittery junk all over my... You find like a... You find that Peppa Pig doll. Yeah. That some people got mad at you for uh, throwing away, right? <laughs> yeah. That Peppa Pig doll has seen better <laughs> days. What do you think, guys? Like a pack rat. Just a moving pack Just rat. a pile of junk. But I'll tell you what I might get here is I might get a windbreaker. Something lighter, lighter color. But one of the recommendations you guys were like, why are you wearing black? And it made me think. I'm like, why am I wearing black? And maybe get some clear sunglasses, clear riding glasses too. You know? Yeah, this place has tons of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I might buy some stuff. It's all really cheap too. This is 2XL. Taiwan 2XL, which is like America medium, but a 2X. No, this isn't bad. Look at the sun off my forearms, which is driving me crazy. I'm getting burned. I could get like, I like, I like that. one, two, three, four, and just have them spinning. <laughs> I'm seeing it. Are you seeing it? Yeah. And one of these? <laughs> I'm listening to what you guys said. I'm gonna get some light colored riding clothes. No more black. Windbreaker, some bright riding shirts, a gray neck band. I am getting some black. I was just about to leave and uh, I looked up and this guy has an area here where he puts logos on shirts. And so I knew I bought those neon yellow shirts and I have my my laptop here with me. So I said, hey, is it possible that you can put my, my logo on the shirts? He's gonna do it. It's gonna cost 200 a shirt. What's 200 NT? Whatever the case is, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna have two Jayo branded shirts. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Man, I thought today was gonna turn out to be sort of a dud day, but Catalan's got it all. We, we found that little bicycle place. I, I did a little speed test. We met. I ate some great breakfast. We had some good coffee. We had some good, good discussion. I bought a bunch of clothes, and they're getting logoed up. The only thing that would make today perfect is if I could get a meeting with one of those trike manufacturers nailed down. Eat lunch with Augusta and I got a call from uh, 
decathlon and my shirts are ready. So let's go take a look. Hello. Howdy. Hi. Hey. Good. Cool. All right. I think in the end, these logoed shirts cost like, uh, like only 11 US dollars or something. Buy the shirt and the printing. Pretty cool. All right. Jayo, right? I think what I've done is I've put myself in what I call a motivating circumstance, a forcible motivating circumstance. I bought these as extra large, and I think I should have bought 2XL, just a little bit tight yeah, around the around the well around the belly. I think that these shirts should fit me perfectly, but uh, I just have to uh, continue to lose some weight. And you know what? That's a good uh, goal to have. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not wearing like the Jayo branded stuff that uh, that I made, I just don't have any of these light, lightweight t-shirts. The ones that I do have are really used to the extreme. I thought these would be a little bit better to have, so that is why. As long as you're persistent and you don't quit and you keep looking, persistence pays off. I am uh, just leaving the restaurant. I just finished up with uh, Augusta. We had a good meal. He seems like a really nice guy. And just before he left, I was contacted by Pacific Cycle, the company that makes uh, some of the components I ride on for HP and has a really interesting factory. And they confirmed with me a date and time to meet tomorrow. Then, the day after that, I have a meeting with uh, a, a brand called Performer, which is another trike and recumbent uh, manufacturer. I talked to the owner of that factory and he knows my videos and is interested in hanging out, showing me his factory and uh, taking me out to dinner or lunch. Two very cool things. And I got a windbreaker my size. I got some Jayo shirts. I got some Jayo shorts. I'll be able to get my, uh, my flag situation handled from one of these factories is gonna have something for me. All buttoned up and ready to go. Good stuff, I've even gotten some great advice for, for my trike on the fix some little things and tweak those, so. Good stuff, guys. Next if you time guys know me at all, you know I'm vlog. cycling around the world. I'm riding something truly unique. Visiting this factory was sort of uh, my bucket list. Wow, some of this stuff is really incredible. My chicken there, the scorpion, the tiger duck was born on that, on one of those. 